Greatest Celtic game in the world ever? Well, it's a no-brainer. Quite simply, it remains the greatest day in the history of the club. To think that Celtic could go to Lisbon, beat a wonderful Inter Milan team and return with the European Cup makes it a remarkable fable. Everyone has their own story of May 25th, 1967. For me, as a schoolboy, it was one of passion and emotion and it will live with me forever. Got down the colours. Celtic in their world-famous green and white hoop shirts with no numbers on their back, only on their white shorts, into Milan in their black and blue striped shirt, black shorts. A solo number eight, and away we go for the 12th European Cup Final. Fortunately, they say the temperature has dropped. Here's Johnson. Oh, it's up for Johnson. And Johnson, what a great day by Sadi, a great effort by Johnson. Corner to Celtic. Old. Away from Inter. Physically. Matsola. Good ball to Capellini. A penalty. He's given it. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. And a terrible thing to happen to Celtic. But they've given away a penalty after only seven minutes. They don't like it, but it's a penalty kick. A great chance for Inter to go into the lead, and when Inter get into the lead, they're a pretty tough team to beat. It looks as if Matsola is going to take the kick. There's Matt Zoller. And listen to the Celtic fans and the Portuguese fans. It's 1-0 for Inter. Linus. Oh, a brilliant effort. Oh. Oh. Oh, the great one. Oh, he's brilliant move by all. Craig coming up on the right, it's Craig. Right on. Oh, great shot, a wonderful save. Oh, a great shot by number three, Demo. And an equally great save. And so, up we go with Celtic to kick off. And for those Celtic fans who are feeling a wee bit downhearted at home that their team is one goal to nil down, the goal scored after seven minutes from the penalty spot by Matsola. Let me tell you that in six of the, the previous European Cup finals, six of the 11, the team scoring first has lost. You can see where they've got to get back to. Wallace and Chalmers there. And... Gimmel. It's a goal! It's a goal! No, he's not given it. He's not given it. Well, it just won't go for Celtic, will it? Wallace to take the throw for Celtic. Demo. Cross to Craig. Murdoch. You, know, you, you get the splitters of split second chances against the defence like Inter's. A clock to Murdoch. In comes Craig. Kimmel is scored a great goal. He's done it. Kimmel, a great goal. 
17 minutes of the second half gone. And that could be the goal that wins it for Celtic because Inter now have to come out. Well, Tony Gemmell has done this time and time again for Celtic. It's one goal each, with Celtic having equalized up the 62 minutes to Gemmell. And it's Celtic again. Oh. Reception in Glasgow has been amazing. Bobby Mondo pointing out the huge Celtic legions welcoming the conquering heroes. There's the cup, safely entrusted to a manager who has conquered all. Jock Steen with the broadest smile he's had in years. Billy McNeil, the captain. Bertie Old and others ready for the triumphal tour of Parkhead. A bunch of local lads, you could say, have conquered Europe. An unprecedented feat. And one which will long be treasured and mulled over by the huge Celtic support. <laughs> 